Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part two of the build of the Lego City demolition site. This is how far we made it in part one. We built a um, tipper truck, a dump truck basically, and then a front end loader, as well as some accessory pieces for the demolition site. So if you missed that, check out the link down below. You can see um, how we built all of that. But right now we're moving on to our third instruction book and this is basically going to be the uh, demolition crane so that's going to involve two more bags of parts bags three and four so here's bag three we'll go ahead and open everything up on this one we have two more smaller bags inside of it and one of them being the bag of all of the little tank tread pieces we'll have all those dumped off in one pile and this is just a small bag of very small parts they're going to be used for the set so we have our let's see our fourth minifigure for this set already another construction worker he has a utility belt on over his dark blue shirt you can see the sweat dripping down his face because he's working hard hot day he kind of has a serious face kind of a serious look on his face so that is our minifigure for this bag it's only one in this bag so we're going to begin the build of the tractor part. So we have a couple tiles on this Technic brick. And then we have two of these plates with a Technic brick on the end. Line those up just like that. Two more Technic bricks. Some regular bricks. Couple more Technic bricks. Might help if I put this on the table. there so we're gonna take these three long axles and basically slide those through those axle holes on those Technic bricks and that's what's gonna hold all of this together just like that so that just made a very sturdy construction We also have a few plates here with some brackets. Quite a few of these Lego Technic gears. Put our first one in right there. And then on the inside of that, we're gonna put this little pulley wheel with a tire on it. Just like that. We're going to repeat those steps for the other side. What this is going to do is allow this to actually turn the 
tank treads when we're playing with it on a, a tabletop surface. I'm trying to give it, give it a little wiggle room in there. It'll allow it to turn pretty easy too. So we have four more of these gears. We're gonna put these axles with a non-friction pin on the end inside of each one of the gears and then attach them all to the Technic brick. Next we have our tank treads. So this is where it gets pretty repetitive. Basically we have um, 42 that we're going to link together times two. And you can see the way these link, is there's a little bitty, once it focuses, focus please, there you go. So there's a little bitty knob on both sides and then on the other one there's a little hook. So what happens is this little hook piece will connect to that knob just like that and you can see they're all gonna link together so I have a good sized pile of them right here Let's see them all right here that we're just going to start to snap them all together basically what I do is I snap them all together count out how many I need for each side and then I pop them apart at that point it's really not that hard to do but this is one of those repetitive things that fortunately some sets have this. Some are worse than others. This is actually not too bad because you can kind of quickly see the progress and it's a simple little repetitiveness. But one good example of a repetitive build that I got very tired of doing. It was the Lego Creator Ferris wheel. I think there was at one point like I had to build 8 or 16 maybe even 32 of the same things over and over again and it got old real quick. Okay we're Probably about halfway done with these links. Maybe. Maybe I'm being optimistic. But I can definitely see the pile getting smaller. And the tread piece that I'm building is getting a lot longer too. That's kind of one way you can tell if you're making progress is you can see the thing is getting longer and longer and longer. Kind of in the home stretch now. Only a couple left. So by now you can definitely see that the 
it's very repetitive. Alright. How many do I have left? About 10? 10 or 12? Is that occasional one that you have turned the wrong way and you try to click it on there and it won't click on all right so there it is that's all of them now you can see how long of a, a tread this is made now obviously this is way too long for one side so basically we have to pull them out so something cool that the instructions have done for us once I have them all laid out I'm just gonna put it like this you can see they show a one-to-one -one diagram of how many we're supposed to have so what I'm going to do is lay the instruction book flat pull this across and then snap it apart where they show that that break. So that is our first link. Lines up with the instructions. And then our second one lines up like that. Should be 42. I'm going to count them. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. So it's only given us 40. So that one to one diagram is incorrect. And I was kind of worried about that because it carries over two pages of the instructions. Okay. So I just added two links to each one that I snapped off. So from there, what we do is we line this up with all these gears, fold this over and snap the two ends together. So that makes one tread. This will make the other tread. Oops, and this one is actually missing a link not reach add one more link to that so instructions were wait a minute maybe it wasn't a missing one is that a kink in it or something okay so there we go that's our treads so I'm sliding this on a hard surface and if it wasn't for those rubber tires that are in there these treads really wouldn't be turning so what's really turning this is these, these little rubber tires in here. So you can see when I turn the rubber tire right there, it's actually turning that tread. All right, so bring all of these pieces back over. We have the two end caps that are gonna go on the sides of the treads. And they're both identical, so I'm building them both at the same time. Put some studs on here. Some grill tiles and two more studs. And these will both attach on those brackets that are exposed. Just like that. Let's 
some of these slopes. This turntable plate. This will go right there. Axle goes through this. And actually should slide through that. This will go on the turntable plate. Like that. All right, so that completes bag number three. So let's move on to our fourth bag right now. Okay, we have all of our bag four parts dumped out and definitely, definitely feels like bag four has the most amount of parts in it. So we're gonna try to blow through this. And this is pretty cool. It's actually a hard rubbery Demolition ball piece. Okay. So, moving on, we have this Technic brick with a pen with axles and a half bushing on there. This will go right there. Going to repeat that. stud it's right there and then this brick goes here tile and a single green brick now we have two more yellow bricks so we've kind of made this offset little box area Sloped bricks, and then another one of these bricks with a axle hole in the middle. We have two inverted sloped bricks, and then a one by two brick. Of these bricks with the um, I guess ribs going through them. Okay, so next is a Technic brick. Then we're going to take two more Technic bricks and axles, slide them through the Technic brick like this. bricks on there and two bushings so this whole piece will snap on right here there's a lot of Technic stuff in this a lot more than I thought there would be I didn't really think of a Lego City set to have much Technic pieces in it at all, but there's definitely a good amount of them in there. Okay, so we're going to put a couple baby bow shapes here. Grill tile, regular tile, another grill tile. We have a slope, another Technic brick, another slope. Two more slopes and another tile. All right, 
So we bring over our body piece. This will slide on the bottom and then connect to the, the brick piece below. So that turns nice and smoothly. Move it to the side. Next we have these little Technic frame pieces. Start by putting a friction pin in there. Put another pin here. Attach this piece here. Two more friction pins and some trans clear one by two plates. That'll go there. Now we take our other half of the frame. Snap those two together there. Another couple friction pins. Bring the bottom tractor piece over. This piece slides in the axle side. page make the other half that will snap everything else together just like that I have two bushings that go on the ends of these exposed axles right there move that to the side with perpendicular pinholes on it. Attach another thin lift arm there. And then we have this little crane piece. It goes at the very top. It just kind of wedges in those axle hole pieces. Have a couple tiles with clips on the top. Take this end piece, attach it to these pins that are on the back. I'll bring this part up. Let me uh, move this up so we can see everything. So I'll bring this up. It should go inside there. little spot where it connects to the axle holes. Okay. So you can see that creates a very tall crane piece. All right. Move that off to the side. Bring this back down. creating one of the bodywork panels. It's gonna go on the crane. It's a Technic plate and then another regular plate. Two bricks. Two of these bricks with an axle hole in the middle. Two 
two more bricks. Turn it over, we have these anti-tiles. Turn it back around, we have a couple brackets. Some plates. Two more plates. long sweeping curved pieces with a tile right there. So we have these axles exposed here and they're going to go through those holes of the Technic bricks and grip on just like that. We have a couple stickers. We have the 10T sticker. Go on the side of this brick. Basically on both sides. And then we have our warning stripe stickers. build the driver's cab area. We start with this plate. Put a few more plates on it. Brick and then we have two of these one by one Technic bricks and line up the pinholes identically like that. So we can stick a three long friction pin in there. like that. All right, so this is the first vehicle out of this set that actually has a steering wheel. I mean um, a seat and not a steering wheel but it has these levers to help control the tractor. And we have another sticker, 19244. It's kind of, other than the first license plate that had the set number on there, all the other numbers are kind of random. I'm sure there's a reason why they chose the numbers, but it's not easily that apparent. Big windscreen and the shorter windscreen at the roof and the trans orange tile. And this will attach to that Technic brick that's right there. All right. Next is our string that we're going to use for the crane. The string came in its own little box and it was on this little cardboard spool. So what we're going to do is thread the string through this hole, kind of stick it out the, the side of this spool. And they had, that, had us do that before we were ready for the next part, but we basically take this brick with an axle and a bushing. We're going to slide it through like that. And what that does is it, it actually grips onto that string to where it doesn't come out. And then we can 
start to roll it up a little bit, but we don't want to go too far because we still have to thread it all the way up the top of the crane. So I'm going to kind of stop right there. That leaves me a, looks like plenty of slack for the rest. We do have a little sticker here to help anyone play with it to know that you have to turn it. Put that right there. And then on the end here, we have the hook. We're gonna thread through the little hole and give it a little knot. Actually gonna double up that knot. Just like that. So basically what you do is you bring it all the way up through this piece over the top. A little spot there that you can push the string through. And then once it's through, it kind of holds it in place. We can bring it up a little bit more and attach our little wrecking ball. So you can see we can turn this back and forth. Our wrecking ball swings pretty nicely. And you can use the little spindle piece to turn it and it'll go up. Or if you turn it the other way, it'll go down. Now the string is extra long. Um, I can't imagine unwinding this whole thing because it's just going to drag the wrecking ball all over the bottom of the, the ground. So, it went a little crazy with the string there. Alright, so that's going to complete this portion of the build. As you can see, we've got a lot of stuff going on with our little construction area. Um, interesting part that's extra is one of these. I guess since it's real long, it may be able to snap on us, but we're going to... Let's put that off to the side with all the extras. So we have one more portion left to build for this set. So um, we're going to do that in part three. So appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to check out all the links down below if you want to see more LEGO City builds. We have a ton of LEGO City on this channel. So you're in the right spot if you like these kind of videos. So check them all out and we will see you in the next one.